everybody, welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new. My name is Soraya Alexis and I usually make vlog videos, post-grad and lifestyle videos. And today I'm going to be filming some of my favorites. So I'm really excited. I'm going to be showing you guys some of my winter favorites or January favorites to be more specific. Everything that I mentioned will be linked down below. I take my time to find the links for you guys and to make sure that I have everything that I mentioned in my videos in the description box. This video I'm going to split it up into different categories of course. So the different categories I'm going to be separating this video into is beauty and health, fashion, books, podcasts, movies and TV shows, home and technology, and then music. So let's just get into this video. The first category will be beauty and health. Alright, so the first product is this Method Body Body Wash. My first one that I tried was the gray one. Love that one. That's probably my favorite one, so I'll link that one down below. But I picked this one up because Target ran out of the gray one. Yeah, these body washes smell so good. And they're really gentle on your skin which I love. They are supposed to be, you know, clean type of products. Go no parabens, no, um, I don't even know how to say the word. All those bad chemicals, like red number four, number five, whatever. It's not in this, so love that. The next thing I have is this body butter by Raw Sugar. Again, it's also supposed to be like a clean brand. It's supposed to be vegan, free of sulfates. I just picked this one up because I needed a thicker type of lotion. And this one is the watermelon and pink cactus. It's a little strong for me, the smell. I don't really like super super sweet super candy-ish smells but it does smell good I like it so the next thing I have is this foaming body wash it's a feminine care type of body wash so for down there um <laughs> why did I do all that and it is also a clean brand I was looking for something that was pH balanced and fun fact it is also black owned so we love that it's called the honey pot and I just have the I guess the scent is called refresh I don't know it's the normal one and it doesn't really have a scent it kind of just smells like uh i don't know how to explain it. like cleaning products or whatever but you don't want like to be putting stuff with fragrance up your vagina the next thing that i have or the last thing for beauty products is this keisha k collection edge control and i have the flavor vanilla it smells really good when I use this, honestly, I barely see like any flaking or anything like that. And it's supposed to be all natural and it is also black owned and cruelty free and all that stuff. So if you need an edge control, definitely check this out. So my first thing is these Boohoo sweatpants. I'm not about to put these on, but I'll show a picture right here. I love these freaking sweatpants. Like they're actually good quality. They have like a fleece in the inside and they're really warm. I took an Instagram picture the other day with these on and it's so freaking cute. So cute. So I love these so much in gray. I decided to get a black pair. And I'm also been obsessed with this flannels and stuff like that or like shackets. But shackets, I guess since they're trending, they've been oldie expensive and I'm just like, I'll wait, so I've been sticking to my flannels and I've been obsessed with this one right here, also from Boo. And it's also petite, so we love that. And again, everything will be linked down below. I also have a profile on Like to Know It and I will leave my page down below. But basically, anything that I post on there, you can specifically just shop on the app, so definitely helpful. And lastly, in the fashion category is these freaking bandanas from Walmart. I love these. As you can see, I've been wearing them almost every day i also have it in beige which is like my favorite i when i when i saw this i was like oh my god yes then i also have black i had this one forever so yeah and then i got a white one which i'm wearing now and they're from walmart it's only like a dollar so i like to read books like one at a time and right now i have been reading atomic habits let me go get it this is definitely a popular book everybody always talks about this book but it's so good like i am not that far in it yet but i'm on chapter three and already it's been good if you're looking to change your habits or learn how to form better habits or end bad habits stuff like that i have been obsessed with podcasts lately it's like a part of my morning routine now i freaking love this part of my day first podcast that i recommend is called gentler practical self-care and it's by al 
It's by Maya Fleming. She gives you like self-care in all different forms. And the last podcast I listened to by her, it was like about financial self-care, which I just learned about. And then the next podcast is called The Real Room by Natalie Barbu. She's also another YouTuber. And she talks about like just business stuff, personal branding, YouTube stuff. And I love her videos on here and also her podcast. And the last podcast I've been listening to is called Balance Black Girl by Les. She talks about just, it's like another self care self-help type of podcast i was just listening to an episode today and they were talking about all things like being on your period and just like how to live your life according to your period cycle and it was amazing like they talked about things to eat during like each phase of your cycle and the first thing i have is my tripod it gets so tall i love this thing it's really good quality and it's not crazy expensive it comes with this i also use for my phone and i believe you can fit like an ipad on here too because it stresses it stretches out really big and it came with a remote to take pictures with your phone uh, the next thing is my diffuser also from amazon i love this thing and then the next thing is this lap desk oh <sighs> So it's this lap desk, it's a marble lap desk. This has just been really helpful, like working from home. And it lifts up like that, so it's kind of elevated too. And I use this thing almost every day, especially when I'm editing videos. I have not discovered any new TV shows recently, so I'm just gonna tell you old ones that I watch. But this new movie I just watched is called American Skin. Y'all, it's so freaking good. Um, yeah, it was a good movie, it was very good. I'll rate it 11 out of 10, so. Yeah, so it is on Amazon Prime, so you can find it there, but that movie was so good. All right, so the next show, I've been watching the show for years now, and it's not new at all, but it's Impractical Jokers. This show, it's like, you know that show that you just put on, like, just to have in the background? Like, this is it for me, because we need to laugh right now instead of crying. The next show is Pretty Little Liars. I think I talk about this in, like, all my recent videos, because I started re-watching the season, or not the season, but the series. I'm on the last season. I'm so sad, but yeah, I've been re-watching that, so that has been amazing for me. Alright, so the last category is music and I only, I try to keep it to a minimum here. So these two songs, I don't know if they're new or not, but they're new to me, so I'm gonna tell you guys about it. So it's this first song called Best Friend by LAZR, Laser, super chill song. Then this is other song called Zodiac by Will Gittins. I don't know how to pronounce these people's names, I'm sorry. I'm definitely getting copyrighted for that. And then I just wanted to share this whole playlist and I've been listening to this chill R&B playlist. I didn't make it myself. I just found it. This sun is setting, guys. I'm sorry, it's so dark. I have it linked down below. So yeah. Ow, I just put myself in the eye. So that is all of the categories in this video. Definitely make sure you check out the description box because that's where, where I have everything linked down there. If you made it to the end, Shout out to you. I need to come up with a saying because everybody has a saying. I'm gonna come up with one. If you have one for me, let me know. But yeah, definitely make sure you check out my TikTok. I've been getting more serious on TikTok because I wanna grow on there too. So I've been high key stressed with all this content that I had to produce. But either way, follow me on TikTok. My Instagram will also be here and my Pinterest. Those are like my top social media platforms where I post other content that you may not see on YouTube. And if you like this video, do not forget to give it a like it definitely helps my channel and also comment down below some of your favorites that you've been loving for january turn on the bell notification so you don't miss when i upload and that is it guys thank you so much for watching i love you and i will see you in my next one bye what was i try to do too much with my hands right there like anyway i'll see you in my next one bye